Mr. JJ here, and today we're going to be playing some more WWE 2K23 Gelatin Showcase. Alright, we're not <laughs> starting off like that. Um, yeah, Rock versus John Cena. The most electrifying man versus Mr. Pretty Pepper. I don't know, bro. <laughs> the leader of the chain gang. A leader of C-Nation. I like, oh. Yeah, I realized he was going into the corner, so I just attacked him. You know, I kind of... Um, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, you can't take a million years and not land. Mm. That power button looked dangerous, bro. I'm going to be surprised he got a broken spine. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I like how, uh, like, the music seemed like, like, it fits like the rock. Not gonna lie. Like, this seemed like some, like, you'd hear in, like, Scorpion King. Not going to lie. I'm saying not gonna lie. Like, why would I be lying? And since I've been saying like not gonna lie for a lot, I feel like a lot of people just be thinking I just be lying all the time, and I have to clarify I'm not lying. Oh, I'm trying to get one. Get your fruity pebble out of my room. The Rock says, know your role and shut your mouth. Okay. Also, let me know if y'all like the LEDs on the ring. Or if y'all just prefer the skirts, like how it used to be. Me personally, I prefer the skirts. And like, I prefer like the whole old school style. I don't like uh, all the, um, like it just seems too techy, if that makes sense. And like, even like the logo, like how the new logo is, it looks too techy, you know? And I think with the scratch logo, like low key kind of symbolized, I press circle. Oh, well, okay. Because before when I was pressing circle, it made me drop down. But I do realize that is an attack button. So it does kind of make sense. But, um... Yeah, but, like, the scratch level, like, even that, like... It made you kind of think that, oh, um... Like, it, there was just, like, that raw feeling, no pun intended. Like, so even how things just used to look, like, even, like, SmackDown's fist, or, like, even before the SmackDown fist, and it was, like, the rings, like, the little circle, like, oval rings, like, there was just some raw feeling about that, but when you got all the LEDs and stuff now, it, it just looked too techy, but it, like, kind of fits with how the new logo looks, so it makes me wonder if they sat there and designed it that way because they knew that they wanted to make it look um, techy in the future. Oh my goodness. And a little like these are just like popping up super fast. You know? 
There we go. I like how it was in like SmackDown versus Raw. You would have to like time, um, like you would have to, I think, hold L1, which was the finisher button. And you would have to sit there and like time it with like, th whether it's an attack or a grab. And if you get it successfully, you get the, whatchamacallit. And if you don't, like obviously not happening. But I, I always thought that was like interesting. And I like how they had the, mini challenges in there to like make like money and stuff like that i kind of wish they would bring that back are you serious like people over here talking about like some um gm mode and all that it's like yeah i appreciate those modes but at the same time um i kind of like um Oh, I just kind of like how you used to have like a, your own little locker room that you could just sit there and add stuff. In. Like I'm not sitting there saying you couldn't have both because obviously I would choose both. I don't understand. Uh, it took them so long to add in GMO back in the first place, but that's what you're doing today. But and it's just like there's just like a lot of things that I would have sit there and wanted. So we can literally only do the foot DDT. <laughs> I didn't realize. Okay, that was my fault. Pop up. Okay, no, no. I like how like low key Johnson could probably beat me if he just sat there and like just spam um, the watching call the pin. Because like some of them like I'm like like I still kinda gotta get used to how it is. Dang it, I should have pre kept my finger on the circle. Eat dirt, beep. One, two. There we go, make him use all that up. Press that early. I got impatient. We gotta reverse this. Wow. Wow. Okay, super soon. Not his elbow going over the bridge of the box nose. 
Oh, I can reverse that. Usually he didn't let me reverse it, so I didn't think I could. Ethan. Oh, while he's in the ring. Bro, I don't know why they expect me to read these sentences, like, fully while I'm in the middle of a match. Like, if I was playing this on, like, easy or normal, okay, like, okay, I can probably do that. But with this, where anything can happen, I'm just like, nah, man. Bro, the crowd really were on their feet. See, I know a lot of people sit there and hate on how they had, like, another um, match. Ooh, there's another FC the Lindsby Riot. Gym. But, nah, like, um, like, I, like, I know a lot of people complained about how they sat there and had two of these matches in a row. But, like, let's sit there and be honest, bro. The crowd was into this match, bro. Just seeing how everyone's literally on their feet. <laughs> Bro, I wish they would have let John Cena actually hit this. No, nah, but I got the biggest pop of it all. I'm not gonna lie, this match kind of had some like a little bit of New Japan feels. Like, because when John Cena was still on the Rock's finishing move, bro, he looked like worn out and tired. And I'm telling you, bro, that's how the wrestlers in Japan look. They be getting like so tired. Bro, little did these fans know this was a once in a lifetime. <laughs> Not him hugging the ref. Wait, isn't that ref Mike Kyoto? I hope I pronounced his last name right. That explains why they keep blurring him out. I know not all the refs were Mike Kyoto, but uh, there was a couple of them who were Mike, uh, I mean, where I do believe is Mike Kyoto refereeing. And I think he had like a controversy with WWE. That's an iconic shot, I think. Bro, that sign is splurred up, bro. It probably has something to do with CM Punk on it. CM Punk should have been in this match. <laughs> and I do understand, like, how, um... Uh, like, CM Punk, bro, he should have had a match with these two. Like... I kind of get it. Um, honestly, I would sit there and say he probably should have been in the Miz's spot the year before. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I like Miz. Bro, the fact that, that he was WWE champion over people like R-Truth, um, obviously CM Punk at one time, like, uh, I don't know about that, man. Like, there's, like, other wrestlers who I think Loki could have been WWE champion. Like, honestly, I think Archie should have won that capital punishment against Cena, bro. He was red hot. But, again, that's a match I didn't see. Then, so. But that was, like, I'm trying to think who was all in that time. Was in that, like, could have taken the title from Miz. And I'm not trying to discredit anything about Miz. I just think you had a couple of, like, not a couple, but like a few people that could have been better choices. But no, nah, I'm not gonna lie. If I was seeing Punk, I'd be mad too if I don't get the main event at WrestleMania, but the Miz does. Again, no offense to him. What makes Brock Lesnar unique? <laughs> oh, uh, we're about to destroy him. 
most intimidating first impression of any human being ever. <laughs> this guy's a bad dude. Mix that in with the athletic ability. The yeah, agility no. of his a gymnast. athletic ability He's is crazy. Built like a bank vault, and he has the power of a diesel truck. Facts. Brock is the one guy who will just take what he wants. Brock walked on to pro football after not having played a down in high school and made the team. And they made the team and they wanted to ship to Europe. He's like, nope, I'm going to the MMA. And then went into the mixed martial arts and dominates. Mm -hmm. And then he comes champion. back to WWE. What was the conversation like among WWE superstars? Do we have enough underwear? Because I'm going to need a change of shorts. Man, you don't want to be across the ring from that dude with that look in his eye. That's, you, you don't want to be there. It, nothing you can do. You I'm need surprised. luck. You need luck, you need timing, you need moons to line up <laughs> to be able to get, to get one over on him. Because Brock functioning as Brock is unstoppable. In the arena, he's unstoppable. Settle in. It's for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Did they blur out that referee? The biggest fight of the summer. Oh, this is when we're just going to get the Fine. suplex him. Brock Lesnar kicked my ass at SummerSlam in 2014. There's no hiding from it. But, you know, I still managed to walk away with my head held high. Because that match, more than any other match in my entire career, that is the night I think I proved that I would never, ever give up. I fought Brock with everything I had until there was simply nothing left. They say that when they're talking about the heart somebody showed, well, that means they got their butt kicked. Okay. Still showed a lot of heart. Never give up. And we're just on opposite sides of the But you see how, like, every arena kind of looks exactly the same? It's like, bro, come on, 2K. Y'all could have done better than this. Because it looked completely different when they actually showed, like, the footage or whatever. But um, one thing I was going to sit there and say is I'm surprised they didn't sit there and say anything about what he sat there and did in Japan. And this does not get talked about a lot. So uh, there was, um, in Japan, there was, uh, I know y'all probably heard of Antonio Inoki. He uh, died recently, like, he passed away recently rest in peace um but when he was in japan he was um what's it called um so he was trying to make it look like pro wrestling look more legit so he would actually bring in guys that were like actual martial artists and mma fighters and stuff from um all these like different companies and was bringing him into all of japan and all those people like all the like the wrestlers like the pro wrestlers just straight pro wrestlers were getting dominated guess who um was over there when that was happening brock guess who was the champion over there while that was happening brock <laughs> bro this dude was brock is legit man he was over there beating <laughs> japanese martial artists up in real fights before <laughs> coming back over here <laughs> And doing that over here, bro, it's wild. Nah, but they honestly could have had like, um, mm, that fisherman suplex looked nice, bro. Honestly, forget what I said about John Cena's fisherman suplex. <laughs> That Brock Fisherman <laughs> suplex was nice. Yeah, five, all right. Bro, those are the people in the front that just stay sitting down. They're like, I can't believe this happened already. But yeah, they could have potentially had like three different John Cena versus Brock matches. Like one where he broke his knee, or when he like threw him in the post and did that, or the Extreme Rules 2012, which I would have loved to have played, and then obviously this one. I want to kill you. 
Not them blurring out the Jimmy John. Wait, should I put a pause on that? Because, like, I don't know. That kind of sounds wrong. Oh, you can kind of see it <laughs> on the back of his trunks. Well, shorts. Nah, but I remember hearing that this was supposed to be Daniel Bryan at the time that this was happening. But I'm not sure about that. Yeah, because I remember he hit him with uh, 16 German suplexes and one regular suplex. So he had like a total of like 17 suplexes. But no one ever talks about that one front suplex, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Nah, but the main reason I sat there and watched the match was because, ooh, that's that nice fisherman. Mmm. Bro, I'm telling you. Because <laughs> it looks like a fisherman brain buster. And like I like how even Brock's theme sounds like Brock. Like it's not like boss battle music. Nah, but the main reason I have watched this match was because I heard the "Let's Go Cena" and I heard like uh like a wrestling YouTuber talk about it. I like how the crowd actually started cheering. That was at least kind of realistic, as it made it seem like everyone was hyped that he was going for the attitude adjustment. Him getting one off that punch. John Cena listened to what I said about the uh. About uh, the just spamming the pin. Here it is. Keep playing with me if you want to. Like, I know I talked about that before, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, John Cena would not reverse that like that on uh, Brock. <clears throat> oh, I thought he had his finishing move. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, he actually said it there. Wow. Oh my goodness. Not John just instantly like becoming a powerhouse. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Bro, Paul Ammon is so happy. He just threw him, man. That's absolutely crazy. Do, 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 do. Bro, no way, bro. Ain't no. 
Could you imagine if that actually happened like that? Cena just took you on a trip to mediocre metropolis. You gotta try again and win in a fashion no one will forget. Bro, that was actually like crazy. Bro, I should have used resiliency. I didn't want to because I'm like, bro, he hardly did anything. Mm. Yeah, but I mainly tried to watch this match because um, of the one little kid going, let's go Cena. Bro, I really wanted to sit there and hear that while he was getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> now, see, this is the uh, match John Cena should have sat there and told Vince. We got a kid's home happy, bro. I'm surprised Vince didn't hear that one kid talking about something. Let's go see that. And then call an audible so they can send the kid home happy. Like, you know, they didn't even get Brock's grunt for that. Okay. Not the crowd getting fired up from Cena fighting back. And way to just kill that momentum going for a pin. After pretty much doing that. Ain't no way. Oh, that's not counting. Oh, they did count, bro. Okay, game. Okay, 2K. I gotta give you props for that. Oh my goodness. Don't do it to him, Brock. Yeah, but if anyone can confirm if this was supposed to be Daniel Bryan in this situation, let me know. I'm, I'm really not sure. Bro, his hands were just at the ropes, bro. Just make it a rope break. There we go. Not him double reversing. <laughs> no way you would ever see that happen. 
Bro, could you imagine if that would have been the finish? That would have been like, and then this dude, Brock, does a sunset flip to win the match. And I mean, like, uh, like wrestling YouTubers at the time. I don't need messing my buttons up. Mm -mm. Not the sunset. He's <laughs> like, I got one of my own. Bro, what is this? Come on, get bear hug. Bro, quit reversing my bear hug, my guy. <laughs> this is, bro, it's an arm lock. Bro, it looked like an arm lock. Rear heavy grapple. Pause on that. Perfect, bro. I wish I could end the match right here. That was actually perfect. Mm. Why can't I just grab him from the rear? Pause. Okay, John Cena got a little more offense than I thought he did. <laughs> like, I forgot he... Like, I haven't seen this match in so long. I think I've literally only watched this match, like, once. Maybe twice. I like how John Cena looks like he's about to, like, die. And then Brock's just like... Oh, that was a lucky attack. I'm about to finish it. Bro, Paul Heyman's face. Not him doing the Undertaker setup. I don't remember this part. I don't remember him doing that to John Cena, too. I, I just remember him doing that to Undertaker. Walk slowly and menacing. <clears throat> oh, he kicked me. Wow, okay, now you don't do it. You know what, 2K? You can go ahead and take those whatchamacallums back. Dumb claps. That's wild. Not him doing that move again, bro. Bro, he literally only did that move one time in his whole career. Way out of position. Rap, get in position. Yeah. What? Is he about to do it again? 
Bro, he better not be about to die out of here again. Mm. She thought this was. I was like, bro, I was gonna go try and do a shooting star for us. Bro, come on, man. All right, we're just gonna do this dragon support. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, this is the Brock that ended the streak. You know what would have been a cool gimmick? Is if they would have turned Brock. So, like, since Brock beat Undertaker at um, WrestleMania, right? What they should have sat there and did was, like, the Undertaker's WrestleMania power has been transferred into Brock. I know that sounds corny, but that would have <laughs> that would have honestly been so dope. Like, I kid you not, that would have been so good. And, like, he would utilize the sit-up more every time he would get hit or something. Bro. Only if, like, he wasn't paid millions for, like, one appearance. Because <laughs> then you could, like, utilize him on your shows more. And then really get over that, like, gimmick. Trying to do all that extra stuff. All right, honestly, I should not be on red. Like, if we're gonna be 100% on this. I'm still waiting on um, a wrestling game, aside from uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, where if you suplex someone like right by the ring, they would go flying out of it. Bro, they've been doing that in wrestling for years. I don't know why they still haven't implemented it in the mainline WWE game. See, like, how you see how Brock's, like, reversal to that is just like a punch? Cena. Cena, I got some for you. That was my Brock impression that sounded horrendous. I'm gonna take you to Suplex City. Oh, okay. that's not what I was trying to do. There we go. I don't know why I was... Okay. Bro, I kid you not, I don't know why I wasn't letting me do that. F5. Doom, 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 doom. Completely unnecessary in all this karma. Bro, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to sit there and read this. We're not risking it. We're not risking it, bro. I almost got rolled up because I'm trying to read this. This time, the suplex is stopped only when it was time for two more heavy combos. Okay.
Emerald flows in. Emerald flows in. Uh oh. I pressed that way too early. Bro, I don't think I'd never gonna reverse that move. Like that triangle is just such like is such a like a weird spot. I wish he would say, like, stop and say, get back in the ring. Yeah, I like that. Well, thank you, Cena. Because, I mean, that one time you did get us counted out. And I'm still salty about that. Okay, game. I know he's on the cover, but calm down. Let's go. I'm so glad that they are. Uh, because I thought it was going to just, like, the thing was going to expand how it, like, it did in the other games. But I guess if they're in the positioning, they will see it. Bro, see, he's actually locking it in, bro. Bro, see, that's how Cena used to, needed to be doing it the whole time. Bro, Cena looks so desperate with this. Bro, I gotta remember, bro. He, they're not in a real fight. Brock was not about to just kill John Cena right there. Because that's what it looked like for a second. He was about to just beat the heck out. That's got to be it. <laughs> Bro, three back-to-back -back F bots. That's wraps. Here is your winner. And the new WWE Champion. Shouldn't he say WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Yeah, Cena got destroyed in this match. They should have did the crazy eyes. I say crazy eyes, but just because, like, his eyes are open like that. See, that's the match I was talking about earlier. Well, I don't know if it was in this gameplay or not, but... Because I have been kind of just doing them back-to-back, -back, so they're kind of running together. But we'll play that match next time. Thank you guys for watching. Those of you who did, please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.
It's crazy. I wonder how many there are. I hope there's at like 20. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But yeah, until next time, remember, J's up, L's down. Bye.